What's up guys and welcome back to today's tutorial on methods. So in Java, a method is just a way of creating a chunk of code and allowing you to call that, that code over and over again from wherever you want in your method. So we've actually used these before. Uh, an example would be our string.trim, which just took a string and removed the trailing uh, white spaces from it. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create your own. So let's start. To create a method, what you need to do is go outside of the main method that's already been created and say public static void and then we gotta give our method a name. So in this case, I'm gonna call it say hello and then put two brackets and then curly brackets. So you can see it looks very similar to our main method except we haven't got this part. Um, I'll explain this in a later tutorial. So now we've got to get uh, so now we've got to make our say hello method do something. And all I'm going to make it do is sys out to the screen and say, hello, internet. Uh, so when we call this method, all it's going to do is output to the screen, hello, internet. So to call a method, all you need to do is write it out. So say hello, two brackets, and then a semicolon. And that's it. So let's run this. And you can see what it's done is the main method's executed, it's gone, it's seen that I want to execute the say hello method, so it goes into this and executes this line of code and outputs to the screen. So we can call this again if we wanted to. Say hello, and all that's gonna do is call this bit of code twice. So let's do it. And you can see that the code is executed twice. So I just want to make it clear that our method needs to be outside these curly braces of our main method, but they still have to be inside the curly braces of our main class. And so I'll just give another quick example. So we can create another one just by saying public static void, say goodbye, two brackets and then curly brackets. And we're just going to have this one say goodbye. So say, oh, actually say goodbye. And we can, again, just to call that, all we need to do is type say goodbye. Save that, and if we run this, you can say it said goodbye. So that's the basics of creating a method. In the next one, we'll build on this. If you're liking this series so far, please like and subscribe, or visit us on our Facebook page, which you can find in the description below.